Team GB four-man bobsleigh. They're fighting for a medal at next year's Winter Olympics, running at speeds of up to 80 miles an hour. What slows them down is not the ice, but the air. The aerodynamics of the sled, its ability to move through the air, that is where they could save those crucial seven one hundredths of a second. To fulfill their Olympic dream, they've come to BAE Systems in Preston, where they build the Eurofighter Typhoon, a plane that can accelerate to twice the speed of sound. Part of that extreme acceleration is down to this sleek design. Every single surface on here has been aerodynamically sculpted to slice cleanly through the air. And the bobsledders are here to use that same multi-billion pound engineering to help them go faster. To save just tiny fractions of a second needs kit on an extraordinary scale. Wind tunnels generating hurricane force air speeds. What the team are here to find out from project leader Kelvin Davis is how a bobsleigh deals with that level of airflow. At full race speed, 70 miles an hour, perhaps 80 miles an hour, the sled has to move something like 20 kilograms of air out of the way every second. 20 kilograms of air? 20 kilograms. So that's like 20 bags of sugar flying at you. Yeah. Uh, out of the way. Out of the way. Deflecting 20 kilos of air every second, how hard could that be? Come on. Whoa! Well, it's enough to literally take your breath away. And at 70 miles an hour, it feels like your skin's coming off. But this is what the team are up against on every run. So, when the tests begin, everything counts. The sled, the body shape, even their clothes could slow them down. When we're doing the proper testing. With smoke to show exactly how the air is flowing, a smooth plume is what they're looking for. Any breakup of smoke indicates air turbulence, which increases drag, losing vital time. Today, they're testing the precise shape of the helmets. So what difference can a helmet actually make? It can make a big difference. If you, if you look at the athletes, the way that they're sitting, just the way they're aligned in the sled, the way that the backs of the helmets are protruding from the sled, any of those can make a big difference. These helmets are looking good. The flow around them is smooth, and the red line indicates that drag is low. But could a new helmet be even better? <laughs> the shapes look almost identical, but a tiny difference is all they need to win an Olympic medal. Is the flow smoother? It's so hard to tell with the naked eye, but the computer has spotted something. So we'll start seeing the line appearing here, will yeah, we? Yeah, you can just see the first point slightly below, which is good. That's good. Reduction. That's good. It's fantastic. It's, it's, it's clearly lower. Exactly how the helmet has done this, we can't actually say. It's a closely guarded secret.